In this video, you're going to learn how to build one of these flashing RGB LEDs. Hi, it's Alan from Hacked Gadgets here. This soldered together flashing RGB LED project is super simple. Whether you're 5 or 95, you'll get a kick out of this one. There's only a few components necessary, and it should only cost you between 2 and $3 to buy everything. On the left, there's a 9 volt battery snap, followed by the RGB LED, a current limiting resistor, and an LED mounting board. That basically gives you something to solder everything together with. On the top, there's a piece of heat shrink. That's optional. It just uh, tidies things up a little bit. Okay, so the first step is to mount the resistor into the R1 position as shown. Push it all the way in flat to the board and flare the leads out a little bit. This will prevent it from falling out as you're soldering it. I'm using some helping hands here, but you can use whatever you have handy. One thing to make sure when you're soldering, uh, don't use too much solder because uh, these pins are actually quite close together. Snip it with some side cutters and this is what you should have after the resistor has been fully installed. And that's what the back of the board should look like. Next step we're going to be installing the LED. Uh, the LED is polarity sensitive. The short lead goes to pin 5 and the long lead goes to pin 6. Slide it in the front and leave a bit hanging out so you can uh, adjust it if you want. And put this into the helping hands. And again, be very careful when you're soldering this. Uh, not only uh, is the LED uh, quite sensitive to temperature, but uh, you don't want to have anything shorting out. Clip it off with some side cutters and this is what you should get. So there's the board with the resistor and the LED now mounted to it. Next step is to connect the battery snap leads. The black lead goes to pin 3 and the red lead goes to pin 2. And just uh, flare the ends a little bit just so it uh, stays in there. Give that a bit of solder to hold it in place. And this is what you should have. This is basically a uh, operational board now. Uh, to touch it up a little bit, if you want, you can add some heat shrink. Just cut it to match. Leave a little bit extra for a bit of strain relief on the cable. Be very careful when using the heat gun. Uh, don't uh, heat up the LED. That'll damage it. And with a bit of heat shrink finished on there, this is what it should look like. It should be uh, nice and tight, holding everything together and providing some good strain relief on the actual wires. And here's a short video that was taken uh, just prior to the optional heat shrink being applied to the board. So the LED is cycling through a fast RGB flashing pattern and then it also does some slow fades between red, green and blue and a mixture of colors. So It's quite bright when it's actually pointing right at the camera. And this is just pointing down at a sheet of white paper. You can actually see the individual red, green and blue uh, color dots. And this is the same uh, RGB LED that's just being diffused uh, with a little bit of wax paper. For more information, please go to hackedgadgets.com. And to purchase these LEDs and other components, please go to allen-parec.com slash store.